Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at cars Elon Musk actually drives. Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Let's get right into it. So the first car Musk bought was an old 1978 BMW 320i that he got for $1,400. Musk said in a Forbes video that he bought it in 1994 and fixed it up himself. He had it for two years when one of the wheels fell off, an unfortunate incident that happened when one of his interns from his first company, Zip2, was driving it. Next up, the might not splurge on yachts, private islands, or wild parties, but he can't turn down an exceptional four-wheeler. Especially if they can drive underwater. Oh, don't worry, we'll circle back to that. The Hammond BMW M5 in 2006. BMW tuning specialist Hammond had its wicked way with an M5 and turned an already fabulous car into a thing of Bavarian wonder. By tinkering and delimiting the 5-litre V10 engine, Hammond was able to boost its output to 603 brake horsepower and up the M5's top speed from a restricted 155mph to a staggering 199mph. Not bad for a 4-seater family car. It was a car so mad that maybe it helped Musk come up with the idea for the ludicrous mode he introduced to Tesla's Model S. And about 380 foot-pounds of torque. The thing is, this as a naturally aspirated engine with such a high rev range, it makes most of its power right at- When Musk got an initial bonus for Zip2, the web software company he and his brother co-founded, Musk used the money to buy a 1967 E-Type Jaguar. Musk explained in the Forbes video that when he was 17, he was given a book of classic convertibles. The convertible he liked best from the book was the Jaguar E-Type, so he told himself if he could ever afford it, he would buy one. When he got an initial bonus check of $40,000 for Zip2, Musk bought the car. That one was like a bad girlfriend. It kept breaking down on me and causing me all sorts of trouble, Musk said of the car in the video. Shield's in good shape. Door operates nice and smooth. The door jam's nicely restored. The uh, rubber here looks like it's been replaced. We got good looking door. After Musk sold PayPal, he bought a McLaren F1, which he later totaled. I had it for several years and I put 11,000 miles on it and I drove it from LA to San Francisco. I had it as a daily driver, Musk said of his McLaren F1 in an interview with Pando Daily seven years ago. New, the car sold for nearly a million dollars. Musk was driving with Peter Thiel who co-founded PayPal with Musk in 2000s when he wrecked the car. Musk was driving with Thiel on Sand Hill Road in Menlo Park to see Michael Moritz, a venture capitalist with Sequoia Capital. In 2013, Musk bought the Lotus Esprit submarine car that's used in the James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. Musk paid $920,000 at auction. It was amazing as a little kid in South Africa to watch James Bond in The Spy Who Loved Me drive his Lotus Esprit off a pier, press a button and have it transform into a submarine underwater, Musk said in a statement to Huffington Post. I was disappointed to learn that it can't actually transform. What I'm going to do is upgrade it with a Tesla electric powertrain and try to make it transform for real, he continued. Musk has owned an Audi Q7, which actually inspired him to include Falcon Wing doors on the Tesla Model S. Musk said he wanted to make a car where the door could open in tight spaces and allow you to access the third row without putting the second row seats down. Accessing that third row easily is a problem Musk said he has had with his Audi Q7, which Forbes said he owned during a 2012 walkthrough at Musk's home. The Audi Q7 is particularly horrendous. Even in the best case scenario, you need to be a dwarf mountain climber to get into the back seat, he said. Musk obviously drives his own Tesla vehicles too. He owns a Tesla Roadster, but it's not currently parked in his garage. It's in space. In 2018, SpaceX launched its Falcon Heavy rocket. Inside, Musk parked his own Roadster with an astronaut dummy named Starman at the wheel. The rocket is orbiting the Sun, passing by Venus and Mercury as well. Researchers have predicted that the Roadster inside will orbit the Sun for the next few million years. Musk said last year that SpaceX could launch another rocket to catch up with the car in a few years. An E-Type Jaguar Roadster 1967 version. Musk calls his E-Type Jaguar his first love and he fell for it at the age of 17. It was 1988, the year before he decided to move to Canada, and someone gave him a book of the greatest classic convertibles ever made. The one I liked the best was the E-Type and I said, well, if I can ever afford it, that is the car I'm going to get, and so that's why I bought it. Having launched his first company in 1995, a software business called Zip2, some of his venture capitalist investors gave Musk $40,000 and that was all the excuse he needed. He spent most of the money on an old E-Type and it was so unreliable it actually broke down on the drive back from the dealership. Not that it put Elon off, he still owns the Jaguar to this day. And lastly, the Tesla Cybertruck. The next chapter in the Tesla story is the Cybertruck, Musk's futuristic EV pickup that looks like something Robocop would have driven in 1987, but in a good way. 
With seating for six, a range up to 500 miles, a body made of ultra-hard 30 times cold rolled stainless steel, an armoured glass that can only be broken if hit by something very hard, at the launch event a metal ball was hurled at the windscreen, shattering it instantly, much to Musk's embarrassment. It could be Tesla's most outlandish vehicle. And for those naysayers who claim the car is just more Elon hype, Musk actually drove the Cybertruck prototype to dinner at Nobu in Malibu late last year, with his partner Grimes. So it looks like it is really happening. Good news for the 200,000 people who put down $100 deposits for the EV pickup, and even better news for Tesla, who raised $20 million in the process. And that's all for today folks, I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another amazing video from us. Until next time.